I decided to record my own footsteps for this project. Using a zoom field recorder, I did the best I could to get distinction between the heel and toe sounds from my recording. Then, I dragged the recording into Ableton and chopped up my audio. I put them all in their own labeled tracks, cleaned up the noise with Isotope RX, EQ'd, and then exported each track individually. Finally, I dragged my samples straight into multi-instruments within Athmod, one for the left footsteps and one for the right. With some randomized modulation on the volume and pitch, here's how they each sounded. For the first challenge, I decided it would be easier to separate the heel and toe components of the footsteps outside of FMO. I also took the opportunity to boost some signals and compress my samples since the few were pretty quiet. I also re-imported the bounce files to save some CPU. Back in FMOD, I set up an event with four tracks, all labeled to be the heel and toe on either foot, and once again set up multi-instruments. Except, this is what it sounds like when I press play. So my first instinct was to use automation to connect each instrument to the parameters controlling them. But after exploring the trigger behavior tab, I found this a much simpler and neater way to use the parameters. After applying these to each track, here's each footstep on a loop reacting to changes in parameters. So, this is my attempt at the second challenge. I explained my approach in detail in the PDF, but I'm not sure I nailed it. Either way, this was the best way I could think to do this, but it seems to me like it makes the left and right parameter unnecessary. Here you can see me using sustain points to key off between one left footstep and one right one.